Hi the berries, welcome to another episode of Against the Storm. I hope you guys are doing alright. I'm feeling pretty tired today. Um, I had a busy evening yesterday uh, hosting a quiz show with a bunch of content creators called in a show called Crown of the Abyss. And uh, it had five people on and honestly I'm so trained now after doing that. Um, it took a lot out of me. Um, I'm really, really happy with how it all turned out and I think everyone that took part had a good time. But man, I am exhausted after doing that. Um, but yeah, so I thought, okay, I'm going to be streaming right now, but I decided to not and then do some offline content instead. So here you go, you've got another episode of Against the Storm. Um, so once we do one more settlement, the bar will fill up at the bottom and then the map will like reset. Um, I'm not sure where I want to kind of like go to de develop. It, feels like, it seems that like you can build... Um, off the other settlements potentially seems like you can go quite a far distance uh, in terms of being able to plop down a settlement I think the most amount of food and resources was on the right you can get 70 food if you build around here so let's do that doesn't seem like it will potentially be too difficult of a map to do um, what's the, the fertileness of the, the soil here so it's average soil uh, let's go with five harpies and three humans. Um, and I liked the planks. And let's grab the. Let's do bricks. I mean, I'm not sure which is better, bricks or uh, or fabric, but hey, we'll stick with those and see what happens. Let's go on to. Uh... Ooh, that's a new difficulty. I think it says it's locked. Well, I've been playing on veteran. Viceroy would be a little bit more difficult. Do I dare gamble? Going for a Viceroy difficulty. Go on then. Why not? Let's see what that's all about. Viceroy. What do we got here? So the soil becomes saturated with the rain's essence during drizzle. Um, resource snows depleted during the drizzle spawn. Fertile soil. Okay. That's going to be very hard to micromanage. So I'm not really going to worry about that too much. Um, and trees give more wood. Okay. Um, I like doing the path around here. In a square. Uh, where are the dangerous glades? One, some around the south. The only problem is with digging to the south is the storage unit is quite far away. So, might just opt into going to north here. and see what buildings we've got to choose from. So the Brickyard and the Weaver are quite good, so is the Kiln. Herb Garden would be good if once we get those farms going, but let's go into... I mean, we do have Harpies. I'm just thinking where we're going to get the fabric for the Harpies, though, the, the base material. The more likely maybe to get it from the Brickyard. Also, we can make the Crystalline Dew, which is probably more important as well. So we'll go for Brickyard. Hmm, making coats is nice, but we haven't got the fabric to produce that, but we could maybe just tap into that at least anyway. So yeah, we'll do that. And a forager's camp, just to make sure we can try and gather some of these resources. Okay. And we've got some buildings here that we need to pop down, so let's get this woodcutter's camp. Let's get two of those running. And we would like, we would like a couple of houses, if it's not too much trouble. And a scavenger's camp that can reach both the eggs and the roots, that's pretty cool. Also with this harvester's camp we can get the plant fibre actually which could have been used for the fabric, but they can also get clay from it, so we can still make bricks with the off chance of getting clay from the uh, from the flax field. I'm just going to get this building popped down. Let's assign some woodcutters. And we'll let the one builder do all the thing building things. Got our first cornerstone allows firekeepers to combat corruption more effectively. Every burn sister removes an additional 50 corruption. 
Oh, this flame amulet is like... I'm surprised this isn't nerfed. So your hostility from woodcutters is decreased by 12. So that's going to um, make this mode a lot easier. It means the hostility of the forest isn't going to go too high. It means we can have more woodcutters during the storm. Fantastic. And I think we can also get some basic decorations for them to do while I'm waiting for some stuff. And we've got our orders. 15. It's good sold. Worth 15 amber. Keep harpies happy. Get more harpies. Get some gear parts. And some berries. I like berries. So let's get those berries, berries, berries. Uh, any two glade events completed, planks and simple tours and three villagers. Uh, yeah, we'll opt into that one because it's just a little bit like easier, don't have to worry about it as much. Um, get a stone camp, a scavenger's camp, 10 bricks and you get 15 clay, 15 reed, 3 parts, all. One ancient tablet and then you get all of these materials. I think ancient ta tablet isn't too difficult to get. So we won't be, be getting it immediately but we'll get it at some point. But yeah, it was really awesome having doing the quiz show with five people. We had um, we had one NA and four EU people, and like some people that I used to like look up to and still look up to quite a lot. It's like uh, you know Yamato Cannon. He's a big name in the uh, in the EU scene. You know the coach of Fnatic, uh, Foxdrop, and Civ HD. They've been around for ages, and a couple of other streamers that I respect, Azup and Manco One. I mean they're they're cool guys. Um, but like, you know, Civ HD is like someone has been around for, since the beginning of LOL 2009. It's kind of amazing that, um, you know, I'm able to kind of get people like that on, on the show and take part in a quiz show and uh, hopefully have them again on the future. It's uh, I'm really kind of humbled by um, the people that I've been speaking to recently because it's not even just those. It's like uh, Dominic Monaghan and Billy Boyd, two very big big names in Lord of the Rings playing League wanting to play with me of all people so I don't know just been very very humble lately and um, being able to interact and speak to new, uh, new people has been what I've been wanting to do for like the last couple of years and now something is all happening at once um, we've just done this harpies once so let's get these extra harpies in and they can help build things yeah it's just been very very humbled by uh, everything that's going on right now and uh, I appreciate you guys and it all comes down to you guys because without you guys none of this stuff would have even happened. Um, but we do have the carpenter and I love the carpenter as you probably know if you watched the previous episodes. Carpenter's kind of giga chad. So we get one harpy. Actually I want to have a... Do humans not get a bonus in the harvesting camp? Maybe they don't. So put one harpy on each camp. Let's build another house. And then we should be all set, I think. But yeah, I don't know. It's just been super awesome lately. And it's been what I've been wanting to do for ages. And I'm really happy with the amount of time and energy that I put into the quiz show. And um, yeah, I mean, if it just means that I can interact with a different content creator, like 45 minutes times five every month, then that's gonna, that, that would make me happy, honestly. I don't really care so much about the views or making money from the quiz show. It's just, I think it's like a, for the people that want to watch it, I think it's extremely unique content and even it's rare, rare to, 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 to say, for example, when I do like a League of, League, game of League of Legends and it is just, you know, Sudoku games, I don't really, I don't watch those games back. Whereas with the quiz show, I've been watching like every single like participant and, um, taking like some notes of how I can improve being a host and um, that I just actually thoroughly enjoyed watching it as a viewer as well as being able to do it as a host so I think it's pretty pretty nice and pretty unique that I've been in, in that situation to be able to do that and I hope that I can continue to do so with another quiz show in December so yeah and I hope you guys have been enjoying that too. Okay, so we're about to enter the storm. Uh, let's speed it up to like times three and then get through this bit a little bit quicker. We've got a new glade here. Oh, there's some fertile soil here. Start marking out the uh, the farm for that and I'm going to move this lumber camp up higher. And just tell them just to chop those, prioritize chopping those trees. 
I'm going to move this lumber cup up higher too, and then we're going to like start cutting into this glade here. Um, I also want to try and get one of those water rain collectors, just in case in this area here it requires rain. We've also upgraded this uh, this hub because of the four decorations. And we should get ready as well with a light post. Because we're going to have production building soon and uh, it's better to be to get this down and be safer than... Safe than sorry. Okay, so we've got another cornerstone. Mm, woodcutters, woodworkers just can't stop working. Gain three barrels every ten planks produced. I'm eyeing that one up the most because we will be making planks quite a lot anyway. So getting extra barrels for free is, is quite nice, I guess. And we have beavers. Beavers and a banshee or beavers and a human. Let's go for the extra banshee. So our ancestor rain collector is produced. I'm going to put two in there. I'm going to take two heat, well, two banshees, I guess, in this case, off the woodcutter and put the beavers on. Okay, we have our first challenge, and it requires no resources, so it's not even that bad. Humans will be upset for a little while, minus 12 resolve there. But let's just get that going there. I'm going to take um, this banshee off woodcutting, just so they can help finishing uh, some of these buildings. Um, let's see what other materials do we have available to us. We've got nine bricks and eight planks. I'm just wondering if I will have enough for a brickyard. Yes, I do have the exact amount for a brickyard at eight. So let's pop that down. Then we'll have a brickyard ready. That'd be really nice. Got some more orders coming through here. We have 10 coats, fabric increase in production, which I'm leaning more towards. 50 grain will be quite difficult to gather at the moment. So I'm going to lean more towards the coats and cut through five blades or burn 12 blight rot. Let's do, I like the material, so you've got 10 simple tools and 5 parts, so let's go for the cut, cutting through 5 blades. Or did I not tell them? Okay, let's get the 3 ancient tablets and the 10% per quick, percent quicker movement speeds. I actually forgot to tell the harpies to actually work on that, was a bit of a mistake. Um, do we have any farms? No, we don't. So we're clearing up this area to for farms, but we don't actually have the farms in at the moment. Let's assign um, one harpy to brick making. I'm going to put bricks on a higher priority. So we should start getting some bricks coming in at a steady flow. Um, I probably will need to get a... What's it called again? The crude workstation just to help make some, uh, some fabric. And some bricks early on. Don't have anyone to actually build anything, and we are missing one shelter for housing. I'm gonna take another human off. I'm gonna take a couple of humans off actually, just get them to help building. Let's finish up this farm field. Um, and then can we start making our way towards some more of these glades? I'm gonna bring this. No, nope. I'm gonna bring this wood camp over. And start getting us to dig towards this other dangerous glade. Kind of a messy road there, but it will do. I don't have anyone working on this. Okay, let's get two. Let's get one more human on there. Okay, so we have one spare builder left, and they can just clear out the the general area. I think here. Yeah. Actually, there's, you know, there's a glade that they can cut through there too. Harvester's camp is done. Is there any materials to harvest up here? No, there isn't. So we'll just take the banshee off that. And then let's actually put the banshee on making some of these uh, light post thingies. And then we've also got one of those ancient uh, tablets from that camp get another building. Tool 
Simple tools, three star, was pretty good when we last used that. Getting flower production could be quite nice, but we don't have a method of obtaining flower right now. Ale, how is ale made again? Ale is made from grain and pottery and barrels. So let's get the brewery. Because we are getting barrels for, for free when we make planks when that happens. So I'm just going to take the brewery here. And we'll sit on that just a little bit. Oh, Harpy Resolve is a low, so we'll burn a little bit of extra wood here. Let's assign plank. Let's take it off bricks and just assign fabric and, pl and plank making at the crude workshop. So we do have some meat and some sea marrow here. get them to install a road up here. Got another cornerstone. Gain one pack of provisions for every 10 herbs produced. Three grain per, per minute. We will be opening chests soon, which will help with the, with the forest. But let's get the grain per minute for now. Let's get one of each. Okay. okay. So we've got 25 bricks in at the moment, zero planks and two fabric. Let's get another beaver on this, chopping down this. Maybe we build a storage. A warehouse. Around this area, just to help get into the other area as well. And let's assign enough one to the scavengers camp just so we can help out a little bit with the potential food issues that we could have. I would take a harpy off of this camp since we don't seem to be having any spare uh, materials for bricks. I'm going to allow them to use stone to make bricks as well. Okay, what have we got over here? We need 20 goods. We've got 20 resin that we can use on this, so we shall do that. And then let's assign two people just to get rid of that straight away. Uh, do we want to keep the goods, or do we want to convert it? Let's get the global resolve bonus. Had nothing really to send to the queen, which is a little bit disappointing, maybe. Also, we haven't had any farms researched into. Just noticed there's some like fertile field in our own base as well from the drizzle. I'm going to bring this wood cutters camp over and we're going to start digging into this glade over here. We've got some more orders. What's this one? 15 aesthetic decorations equals plus two berry productions, 30 crystalline juice. I'm, I'm actually going to take that just so that we can get those ingots in for tool making. And one hub upgraded to neighborhood equals lots of good things, plank production as well. So we'll take that too. So that we're going to have to get some decorations in now. So I need four more green. Look all those benches in a row. Fantastic. And then it was 15 aesthetics. So we need basically 15 blues. So that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. I'll let them get them working on that. Also, we're going to need another house. Put that on the outskirts. And we've only got one builder to do all of that, unfortunately. Two builders will be free once they've completed this objective. So we're slowly getting them. Crystalline Dew as well is also on the menu. How many bricks do we have? We've got 37 bricks. I'm actually going to take the priority off of this. Put priority on the pottery and the crystalline dew. I'm going to take the stone requirement off of bricks as well. Just because we've got plenty of bricks. Two glade events completed. Which gives us a bunch of planks and some simple tools. Maybe we can open something with that. 
Do we have any farms? Groves will give us resin and crystalline dew, which will help us open those tools, or we can go into the herb garden. Let's get the grove. Get some cheeky extra uh, production going on there. Let's move this woodcutter's camp out of the way. Um, let's put that over here and allow them to dig through this part here, and then we'll need another, another warehouse. And let's get that grove down. Can't really seem to fit it in. I see. Actually, that's perfect. Let's just do that. Okay, great. I'm gonna need someone else helping burning blight. I think. Harpies are not happy right now. We might have to unassign some lumber people. Okay, that's not really doing a huge amount right now. Let's fuel production as well. It's not looking too hot either. Hmm. I can't sustain that. I don't think. Let's see how it goes. Also, I think we should try and mine out some of this sea menu or whatever it's called up here. And how many simple tools do we have? We only have six. What building is it that makes the tools? We can build an artisan's building there too. So that will help with uh, coats and happiness. Let's take the extra fuel burning off. Okay, we have zero wood production. We need all the beavers chopping down wood super urgently right now. Let's take the cornerstones and see what we've got first. Hmm, we haven't built a trade post yet. Every 10 completed trade routes or houses will have room for one more person, but construction is 25% slower. Let's reroll. Every two newly completed dangerous and forbidden blades events lowers hostility by 50. Plus one to wood production, lose all stored fuel upon clicking this cornerstone. Well, we have zero fuel, so let's actually grab that. So all the wood chopping and stuff should provide us with more resources. You now I'm going to move this stone cutters camp because I just noticed there's some um, right next to the storage unit already down here. And let's get. Oh, beavers work well in the grove, apparently. Okay, well, we'll get a human and a harpy in that. We haven't accepted the... Okay, we need the beavers. We really need the beavers. Let's take these guys off again. Beaver, beaver. Beaver. Let's move this lumber camp over a little bit. Aesthetics is complete. Hubs is complete. And we've got two new building options. We have a tool shop if you want to go down that route, or we could get down a luxury um, to help our civilization be a little bit more happier. We won't have anything to facilitate those. Um, the tavern, we will be going into ale soon, which will provide some happiness here. And the global resolve gets increased with the tavern. So I'm actually going to pick the tavern here. And how is our food production? Need to kind of keep an eye on that potentially. That could end up getting quite bad. Uh, let's go for a plantation. And I need to reassign and shuffle these, these people around a little bit. So wood production is, well, we've got zero wood at the moment, which is obviously terrible. Um, hmm. We have two spare builders, we have six homeless, so we should probably try and resolve that. Uh, we can put down a couple of these human houses. So let's put down a couple of human houses. Um, can we put down any harpy houses? Because they are usually pretty unhappy, aren't they? So we should look into getting one, two, let's just dot them around. I don't really think the entrance matters too much. Okay. 
that should help out a little bit. We've got enough builders to get that going quickly. Um, let's get a couple of humans gathering this uh, extra fuel resource here. And we are going to want to put this plantation down. Gonna get some humans working in there so we can just increase our food production. There's actually some more fertile fields here. And we've got 18 simple tools now. Let's send this one back to the citadel. Okay, so we've just dug out into a harder glade. 152 spark dew that we have, so we will just get that sorted out straight away. We can keep the crystalline dew, or we can send it to the queen. I mean, this is a lot of stuff here for making simple tools, plus the machinery is really nice for the talent tree, so let's, let's keep those for ourselves because we're greedy. I think everything is coming along okay at the moment. All of those houses are now built, so people should be a little bit more happier and appreciative of my uh, hard work of keeping everyone happy. Um, so yeah, we'll need to build that tavern. So let's get that built too. So tavern, if I can fit it in anywhere. Let's get this, move this... Oh, we can't move the artisan building. Hmm... Where am I going to fit this tavern? I don't have enough space. I kind of need to mine out the southern side here. Okay, we're going to have to move these plants like one by one out of the way. And let's get this lumber camp down here. And let's try... make a little bit more space and this lumber camp they'll mine out here they'll, they'll cut all the trees around here just make a little bit more space for our town so we can put down a tavern that should be quite handy uh, harvest this camp we can harvest stuff up here let's assign one person to that we don't really need too many builders just yet we've got another camp here as well maybe we can set these guys free just worried a little bit about my food situation. I've got some more orders coming in. Objective, get 50 ale and a tavern. Increased ale production. Barrel of ale. Okay, I like that. Yep, okay. We'll take the cup and glasses. And then, do we get more villagers or send this to the citadel for 15? I think we send this to the citadel for 15. Let's take some eggs here, because I don't really want to have to have too many extra villages right now. And we should also build a trade work post, a trade station, a trading post. Because we need one. And I think I've got some gold to spend too. I can't get this half in this area of this hub either down. It's not quite enough space. I'm going to tell these prioritize digging out these trees first just so we can move out okay everyone is very sad okay we need to stop some wood production that took a slight edge off but it's still minus seven maybe this is why we're playing at vice raise a lot of difficult and then you got the beavers on too happy either it's because we don't have any beaver houses it doesn't help things does it uh, let's try and sneak in a couple of beaver houses in this tiny claustrophobic area. Um, we only got one spare builder and we're going to have to try and sacrifice some extra wood. It takes the edge off. One of the harpies is likely to leave though. Prioritize the coat manufacturing because coats will keep the... Uh, Humans happy, I believe. Yeah. Okay, putting a harpy in that workstation made them ever so slightly more happy, so they're not gonna leave. Fantastic. 
How are we doing? We're going to get 15 amber from there. We're also going to have another field plot over here at the top to gather from. There's a super forbidden glade over there that we need to pay attention to soon. Silent looting. Minus 15 hostility when looting things. When looting the crates. We'll take that now this time since we should start opening crates soon. And let's take the... The mixture of people here, I think. Okay, I'm gonna just slow down the game a little bit because I feel like I'm losing my way a bit. Our food production is not good. And also, where is the building that makes those tools? It's the carpenter, isn't it? Do I have a carpenter? I do not. So let's get that sorted. Let's get a carpenter down. And I want a hearth here too. We should be able to have enough room for that. Small half. There we go. So we've got five builders. I'm actually going to prioritize the half for now. Training post is starting to be built. Okay, I think we're doing okay. I'm not panicking just yet. We've got a trader. We've got 23 gold and we've got two tablets. Also, let's just check the trading posts. I don't have any packs of provisions, so we can't do any trades just yet. We might have to organize setting that up soon. Oh, wow. We've got plus three to coats production and a plus two. Hmm. Let's grab the plus three. Just wondering if it's worth looking to get the plus two as well. We'll just be making coats like crazy. I could, in theory, be printing money as well. Let's sell one of these wildfire essence. I want 13 amber. And then we should look to getting more food because I'm worried about the food production. Um, let's get some, let's get some vegetables in. Can we get 14? There's Viceroy difficulty. I'm pretty sure the price is more, more expensive as well for everything. So we'll grab that. We get the sewing technique in. And that should be okay. So when we're making coats from this building, we should be getting an additional 5 per craft. Which, to me, sounds amazing. I want another area here where we could opt into getting more uh, people. But I'm not going to talk to them just now because I don't want to lose any more food. Scavengers camp here. There are lots of resources nearby. Lots of routes to tap into. So it's going to set up the camp there. Continue building up the road. There's a storage unit close-ish by. I want to start digging into this dangerous glade now. Uh, we need to assign someone to this half. Okay, so people can start gathering here. Wood production is still a little bit iffy. Just assigned another beaver to this one. Even though we've got like plus two on the wood production and this map is providing us with more wood, we're kind of struggling. So something is probably chugging through wood. Um, do we need any more planks? We have 52 planks. Okay, I'm going to stop plank production here. I'll leave the fabric one for now. Into the glades. We just got that order complete. And we've got a scavenger camp here too, where people aren't doing anything. Let's get these eggs here too then. Okay, carpenter. So yeah, we can get plank production from here. I want to prioritize the simple tools though and allow them to use the crystalline dew as well. Let's get all of our beavers on that. Uh, also, we're going to need to gather these roots and things, but I don't really have anyone spared, do I? How's our housing situation? I want to try and see if we can make the beavers slightly happy, maybe the harpies. No, they seem good. Oops. Okay. 
need for clothing fulfilled so we get to complete that in two minutes so we're doing a pretty good job i just need to try and make a bit more space here for a tavern uh, maybe we can move some of these beaver houses into this uh, area here too just to create a bit more space and also then we can upgrade this area this hub too actually let's get some decorations built and can we move any more housing let's move another house over here and another house seven or eight eight at this hub okay we've got kind of a room here now for a tavern don't we oh, okay we can delete that one bit of road i do need more cloth and i need to delete that one other piece of road Okay, cool. But we do need the fabric. Yeah, well that one use reeds and leather in order to make that cloth as well. Do I have a building that makes cloth? Nope, I do not. Stone cutters camp has been depleted. This clay that they can mine down here. Although it's not going to be too efficient, there wasn't a storage unit nearby. Um, I'm going to tell that one spare harpy now to go gather those roots. And we've just opened up the dangerous glade. Working effects. Co cooked and raw food in the warehouse is disappearing at a rate of 6 items every 10 seconds. So we will lose a lot of food when doing this. But in a way, it's not really the greatest news in the world. I don't have that. I don't have that much food, so I won't be losing too much, but that would make people very unhappy. Uh, we can choose to keep the goods, which will give us a lot of food, or we can choose just to give this back to the, the queen. I'm very concerned about my food generation right now, so I might opt into taking the goods. I'm noticing there's a lot of food resources here in this area too, so I'm going to try and maybe make this another hub and um, get some resources from this too. We, don't, we have the materials to work on this. We've got a storm coming in soon. With each fallen tree, the fishermen, the fishermen grow closer. Global resolve is hit by minus two penalty for every five trees that are felled. So we're going to wait, I think, before going on to this. We're going to wait because we've got the storm to deal with soon. And then we'll have to probably burn and sacrifice some extra... Um, sea marrow in order to speed up once we're gathering through that so we don't lose too much resources in the meantime i'm gonna try and get some things in place in order to, for the uh them to gather don't think we're gonna be able to get all of those fertile fields in one go yeah something like that is quite good let's get a pathway put in how many spare gears do I have? There's another order to accept. Um, have at least 20 humans, 200 wood, 20 packs of provisions. Let's just go for 20 humans, because yeah. <laughs> okay, resolve is going really, really, really bad for us right now. Okay, so I'm going to tell all the beavers to stop chopping down wood. Uh, where's the other wood camp? There's another one around here, isn't there? And we're going to have to sacrifice some logs. People are still very, very unhappy. And if I burn through 120 wood per minute, we can survive it just about. We might lose one harpy still. Give it a go. I'm not having anyone wood cutting right now. Oh, we've got 28 tools actually, so we should make use of that. That's actually the tavern. Does that use training gear? It does. This fort of it. I'm just eyeing up the 40 training gear from here, but is that worth it? We can get a 30 amber and probably buy the equivalent of training gear anyway at the uh, trading post next time. So yeah, let's go for that. Let's get the one reputation in. Also, it would take minus 15 off the hostility of the forest when um, 
we do open that. Um, we have another bunch of tools as well that we could potentially use to open this one as well. Let's also send that to the Queen. And we're going to try and use those simple tools just to help us get through some of these. So this threat comes in through in 7 minutes. We'll have enough time after the end of the storm if we just whack everyone on this straight away. I think we will lose the Harpy unfortunately. There's not much I can do to keep them in. It's very, yeah, this is gonna, we're gonna lose the Harpy I'm afraid. Big sad. Lost one. Right now, straight away, I need to send the beavers back um, as well onto trees. Okay, let's have a look and see what we got here. Gain a stack of wealth effect, plus one to global resolve each time you sell goods worth 40 amber. Don't think we can do that. All farms can plant. Two star mushrooms on farm fields during d drizzle season? Sure, we're gonna have some farms there anyway. That's fine. We've got a grove here. We've got a farm here. There's another plot of land here that actually isn't being used. So we can get another plantation set over there. We kinda need more humans if we're able to. Lots of humans, please. We get one. We'll take the one. And then we also need to start working onto this straight away. And we'll take the food buff, the food resources from this. Because we're going to have no food. Everyone's going to be pretty sad at me soon. I'm going to pause the game again and try and get more people on wood cutting. Um, there's also a tavern here that we can try help increasing uh, happiness a little bit here too. Um, is there anyone that's not really doing anything important? How much fabric do we have? Three. I don't think our fabric is going up too much. I'm just going to take that one human off this workshop camp. Okay. Still have no one gathering resources up here either. None of this stuff is getting built because I don't have any spare workers. Okay, so is it worth me burning through some sea marrow? It might be. We'll sacrifice some sea marrow just to make it so that this objective is done a little bit quicker. But they're not working on it just yet, so let's not actually do that just yet. They're still carrying goods to it. A kiln would be really good just to help out with the burning fuel situation because it's not going that great for us right now. So I'll put that right there. we will convert wood into coal. Have we got the resources in, guys? Are we... Okay, well now the countdown's going down on this. Let's burn some of that sea marrow. That's pushed it down to two minutes. Our food is non-existent right now. We could use some extra beaver homes as well. Do we even have any... We've got four spare builders. How's this area? We need four green, uh, six green, no, eight green and four yellows. Let's build some fancy pipes. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Fantastic. We are low on food. I am aware of that game. Thank you very much for reminding me. Where is our trading post? It's here, isn't it? We've got someone coming in in one minute, and I think we've got a lot of gold. A lot of amber to hand in. Harpies will leave soon. <laughs> They're not happy with me. Okay, yeah, the harpies are very, very not happy. 
can we maybe get them another house? Man, they're going to be so mad during the storm, aren't they? Oh, we just dug into it. What glade was this? Is this a dangerous glade? There's a guild house here. Oh god. So this is another one that will lose food as well. So we're going to lose more food while this threat is going on. We need to sort that out straight away. They're still burning that sea marrow, but we're actually running out. I'm actually going to have to turn that off now. Uh, this event is now complete though, but we're still going to be losing food per tick because of this living matter issue. There's a weaver there. Right, I'm going to take this one off. I'm actually going to salvage this building. Yes. And then we're going to build a weaver. If I can fit this in anywhere. Kiln would be great to get some more... Um, hole in. And we've got a trader. Okay, thank goodness. We were struggling there for a little bit. We got training gear that should keep the harpies a little bit more happy for a while. Um, we have scouts can open chests faster. I don't think that's that urgent. Um, planks, we've got 30, uh, bricks, we've got 33 of. Planks, we've got 17 of, so that's not an urgent issue. Um, we have only nine coats, which I'm kind of surprised that. I guess we've got a fabric bot on it, so we need to try and pick up some fabric if we can. Can we buy some sea marrow? And I can burn through, actually, if we can burn through that, that'd be great. So shame there's no food resources here, though. We will trade 59 of these. Plus, you can have one coat. No, nope, two coats. There you go. Do we have anyone spare? I want to try and get some more people at this tavern, just so that we can get more we can get more global resolve. If we can get a couple more villagers, which I think we do have. There's a villager camp here. Maybe we should recruit these guys. Give them some eggs. I'm so worried about our food situation though. We are making coal, which should help the burning situation. Stonecutter's camp has no deposits nearby. Okay, let's take these guys off stone cutting anyway, and then let's get them on these farms. Um, there's another one here as well, but it's quite far away from any kind of storage unit. I mean, we could build a storage unit here and then try and go into this dangerous glade. How are we doing on this? One minute to go on the living matter. And the question is, do we want this guild house? I think we should salvage it because we're not going to build a hearth there, I don't think. It's too far away. We also need another storage unit here. Also gather like these vegetables here for example but we just have a little bit of a villager bottleneck harpies are super happy all of a sudden oh it's because of the training gear i've got in the tavern so they're happy they're giving us reputation per tick um everything else is going okay i think so far how many tools do we have we've got 47 tools Let's send that back in. Oh god, the resolve is terrible. Um, we need to tell people to stop my, uh, cutting wood. That helped a little bit. I don't really have that many resources to sacrifice. Okay. 
Okay, that, if we can keep that going, that will help. Alright, let's salvage that guild house. While the beavers aren't cutting, we can tell them to build and gather resources and things for us. Did we ever build that weaver? No, I need to put that on a higher priority. We actually don't have planks. Planks aren't on a high enough priority, they're just all churning out simple tools. <laughs> okay guys, we need us some more planks, we can't just be having tools. Perma having tools. Even though that is great. There's another chest up here as well, which we do have enough tools for. So we'll take, we'll give that to the queen too. Oh goodness, why the... Why the... Why is everyone unhappy all of a sudden? Putting people in the... Oh, it's because we ran out of wood to burn. We should be okay though. Okay, cornerstone. Minus 40 hostilities for every hub upgraded to neighborhood. Wood cutting is way easier. I mean, we are having issues with wood, but the hostility is also one of the problems that we've got here too. So I'm going to take the minus 40 hostility. I should take a slight edge off of that. Um, I need beavers working again on wood cutting ASCP because... Why are they... Oh, they didn't have enough resources. Alright, that's why they didn't salvage that building. Okay, we need those beavers back. Uh, cutting and actually maybe we should relocate to another glade to open up so we can try and open some more of those chests. There's another glade quite far away. There's one nearer the town down here. Um, okay, let's just t do the one nearest to our base. Something like this. And we still need more wood cutters. Two beavers. I'll take the beavers. There must be a spare beaver somewhere. Beavers. Where are you hiding? There's one in the kiln. Let's get that off. Okay. We're gradually getting there. We've got people opening up crates at the moment. So once they're free, they'll be able to help out a little bit more. Uh, we could use a little bit more human housing. But we do have that plank issue, which I'm trying to resolve, but our wood issue is also pretty bad. Try and get another storage warehouse and on this side might help. We've got a fabric -y issue too because we don't have enough planks. They're finally making the weaver. Uh, we can make another building for them to be happy in. Guild house. If we buy the wine, then we can potentially make them a little bit more happier. The bath house might be better though. Okay, let's grab the bath house put down the plans for that. Can we upgrade this to neighborhood? So one, two, three, four. And then we need four blues. One, two, three, four. So yeah, the biggest problem we've got right now is wood and food. Like everything is going very bad now. <laughs> we have a food issue. We've got wood issues. All of the issues. We don't need any more spark with you actually. I should have taken people off that ages ago. Um, maybe the problem is, is that we maybe needed more wood cutters, like another wood cutting camp at this point. So maybe let's try and resolve that by putting down another camp. Fabric on highest priority. Okay. I mean the coal. I mean it's because we're also using a lot of wood for coal. 
Which is fine. We've got a lot of tools, so we should try and look to um, opening more of these chests and sending them over to the queen. There's a huge package over here. I think we're nearly done. It's kind of stressful because we ran out of food. Um, but actually, if we just send all of these packages over, I think we're okay. We can kind of ignore this threat, I think. Yeah, we have 50 coal. Even though it says we've got no wood, we've got 50 coal, which is fine. It's just the food issue is... is a problem. Alright, I'm going to tell these harpies to stop mining this. We're very close to completion. Where is our trading post? So we've got someone coming here in three minutes. The traders definitely seem slower on Viceroy as well. Maybe we can do some trade routes. We do have some packs of provisions. Do we have anything to sell to these other villagers? Some fabric. We don't have any spare fabric. So oh, this crystalline dew. Okay. Low on food. Yes. It's not too much I can do about that. Scouts are idle. We haven't got enough simple tools. Okay, I'm going to put simple tools on the higher priority again. Did we make the fabric place? Yes, we did. We've got loads of fiber that we can go through here. All right, cloth production should be absolutely fine. Got another storm coming soon. And if we salvage this, then we can get some pies. Okay, we're opening this crate right now. Okay, so once this crate is open, we've won. A little bit stressful. I mean, we've had some issues there with the food. A couple of the maps we've had issues with food. But the crates just seem to be the main relief. It's just, if you get the simple tools and just look for the crates, it's generally good to go. So once this crate is done, we're, we're done. We'll just put it on times three speed now. 30 seconds. Trade has just arrived. <laughs> and we have one. Fantastic. That was Viceroy as well. So that wasn't too difficult. There was no map affixes. Um... And I think we had some nice traits early on, like the the amulets, making it so that woodcutters don't cause as much anger. Um, but let's go back to the world map. That should have been like the end of the uh, of the turn as well, of the blight storm cycle. So we'll let that cycle happen now. Apparently, as a faction, we didn't do as uh, as pog as the other areas for some reason. Maybe we can do better next time. Maybe it's because we didn't go uh, like uncover as much of the uh, the fog as the other citadels or something. But there we are. That's a rotation. So we go back to the spawning city. We should have a lot of extra resources in. It's a nice XP. We get a new trader as well for completing Viceroy. And then let's look at getting some upgrades. 
So permanent plus three trade bonus to trade at arrival speed there on the left. That would have been potentially quite handy. Traders did feel like they were getting quite slow. Uh, we've got a lot of machine parts and a decent chunk of fuel. So one more cornerstone reroll. Getting a permanent one percent boost to the chance of obtaining bonus production yields. Faster building, which I don't really feel like we have much of an issue with. Uh, uh, more newcomers arriving in your settlement will bring more resources with them though. That seems quite strong, but it's locked off. We can't get that yet because we haven't hit the level 11. Um, well, we're definitely missing some artifacts in order to get through some of these sections on this talent tree. Um, permanent plus 2% to burning duration for all types of fuel. So let's grab that. Let's grab the trader speed bonus. That leaves us of 60 food and 28 machine parts. Um, and let's just grab this one. 1% 1 bonus chance of obtaining bonus production yields. Sure. Okay. And that's another day on... Um, I always forget what this game's called. <laughs> and that's another day on uh, Against the Storm, that's it. I knew it's Storm something, but I always forget what it's called, Against the Storm. And I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, the chilled sessions um, with this, with me just kind of going my thoughts about the day and what's happened recently. And um, I, I like doing this. I've been playing a little bit as well of Slay the Spire in the background as well just to get used to that again and I can I think I'm gonna start putting some Slayer Spy content on both Twitch and YouTube at some point so do look out for that and um yeah appreciate you guys thank you for watching and listening and see you tomorrow if you watch my YouTube a lot there's bound to be something popping up new probably a quiz show episode or uh, something to do with a new patch in league for the new preseason so lots of league content coming around the corner. All the best, take care, and see you tomorrow for another video. Bye-bye.